I'm Anil Kumar and here is an exercise for you. You need to find volume and surface area of these blocks shown. Remember volume of each cubic block is one unit cube and surface area of each face of the block is one unit square. What I mean to say is this surface, the top surface area is one unit square. The side surface area is also one unit square. A block as you know may have six surfaces right so so a block can have six surfaces imagine this is all plain okay so six surfaces so total surface area of the whole block the cubic block will be six units square and volume of each block is one unit cube right now the question for you is so question one for you is find volume and find surface area of the formation shown here. So here we have six cubic blocks kept adjacent to one another. Do you see that? So what is the volume of this and what is the surface area? Also include the area of the bottom, right? So that is your first question. And question number two for you is, I will rearrange these blocks. So I'm going to move these blocks and uh, make them kind of different. So what I will do now is that I will put them one over the other, right? So not all, but two of them. So if I make a structure like this, if I make a structure like this, in that case, your question now, question number two is, find volume and surface area for this formation right so this is a new formation you may observe that we are using the same number of blocks so when you use same number of blocks what happens to the volume and what happens to surface area so that is for question number two question number three is i'm going to place these together so one over the other do you see that so now we have two columns right we are just two columns we have placed them one over the other and that gives you the question number three again find what is volume and what is surface area now once you do all this then you need to figure out which figure has the least surface area which has the most surface area and when we are using the same number of blocks what happens to the volume and why do the surface area change? So these are the questions which you should think about and you can answer these questions uh, in a proper order, right? Share the answers with me. If there's a difficulty, we'll get back to you. Thank you and all the best.